I always spit, you know, motivation to you guys. I always give you guys advice. I always got, you know, I always talk about like manifestation and, you know, eliminating like fake people out of your life and uh, just to be driven no matter what and be persistent and then find your true passion. Like, I always like give you guys advice, genuinely solid advice, at least in my opinion, right? But I want to talk to you guys and share with you guys something that I just kind of came across like, and it just popped up in my head recently. And it honestly can change lives. I know this sounds so whack right now, what I'm saying. But, like, hear me out. Just give me a second. Let me, like, cook real quick, okay? So, for people who go to the gym, which is probably, like, most of you guys, I would assume. I mean, I'm partially fitness on this channel, right? But for those of you who go to the gym, you know that feeling that you get? On days that you really don't want to go to the gym, but you still go. And like before you go, you got that feeling like, oh my God, I, I really do not want to go. I will do anything but go to that one place that I do not want to go to. But I know that in reality, I, I kind of have to, but I just, I don't want to. Now, I know some of you are going to say that you probably act on those feelings and decide not to go. And then there's probably some of you who say, no, I wouldn't no matter what. I don't care what my mind says. It's what I have to do regardless of what I feel. And then there's probably some of you who are in the middle and do both. Some days you slag when you feel like that. And then some days you go even though you don't want to. The point I'm trying to get at here is the, the feeling you get, right? When you feel that way. When you feel like, damn, I don't want to be here. But you go. You get it done. What are the times and, and, and chances that you could even recall of, of yourself being like, damn, I really regretted going today. Like, I really just should have stayed home. It was a waste of time. I don't know why I still went, even though I didn't want to or didn't feel like it. All right. And I, being sick and like having like the flu or some shit is like a completely different story. I'm just saying you're being a lazy ass. Right. Has there ever been a moment that you can't even recall that you felt like that? Because I've never had a moment. Every time I have that feeling and I still go regardless of how I felt, I'm always like, damn, that felt good. I don't know what I was thinking, man. Like, I'm tweaking, bro. When people invite you to events or, you know, I don't know, someone wants to introduce you to one of their buddies, right, you never met, or like in a circle, a group circle, they want to introduce you, right, or... I don't know, maybe there's like a, a, a event, there's like a little event that maybe you got invited to or that's like coming up, right? And like, you're sitting there like, nah, I don't want to, nah, screw that, right? I used to be that guy. I still am at times, believe me. And I'm sure a lot of you are too. The point I'm trying to make here is that I've come to a realization with that example I told you about not wanting to go to the gym, but you go anyways, we could have gone to something and something really good, something even life changing could have came out of that thing that we so don't want to go to at times. Right. You know, I've had instances where I've had a really bad day, man. Oh, oh man, I was going through it horrible. Right. And then maybe a buddy hits me up or whatever and says, yo, there's this like thing going on right now. Like you should pull up whatever. And I really, really did not want to go, bro. And then, you know, I end up going and I, I meet a few people that, you know, till this day now I'm buddies with and sometimes I hang out with and they benefit my life as well as I benefit theirs. And, you know, they got me into doing certain things, certain sports, whatever, or like meeting certain people. Like it just... It's like a domino effect, right? One thing goes to another, you know, for, you know, for example, let me, let me make an example here. Like we were talking about with the gym, right? You know, you never know, man. Maybe that one moment that you decide to slack of not going to the gym, maybe you would find the love of your life that day, bro. Maybe the love of your life would just appear in that gym one day and just be strolling around. Maybe she wouldn't even be a girl that you've ever seen before in that gym, but you just see her for some reason that day. For some reason. And then that could be the day that you approach her and talk to her. And then that was also the very same day that you really didn't want to go. And I've had so many instances in my life where I didn't want to go to certain things. And I ended up going to them and had not just 
specifically for the thing itself attending it, right? That was so spectacular, but the things that came out of it, that was astounding, right? E even filming, guys, for me, right? I can only relate to myself because I don't really know every single one of you, right, behind the screen that's watching, but even filming, I've had so many instances, bro, so many instances that are, like, almost life-changing, where it's a day where it's like, I don't really have to film, but I could. So-and-so hits me up, wants to film with me. Okay, da da da. let's go to Miami, Brickle, uh, South Beach, blah, 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 whatever. Get a video done. And there's some days where, like, I already have content in stores. And I don't really need to film. It's not like I'm missing out or not posting. I'm posting content the same with the same frequency. I'm just, you know, I just don't want to go that day or whatever the reason is. And recently, you know, I've, I've come with this theory of mine with the whole, like, great things can come out of times that you don't want to do certain things, right? Or go to certain places. And what happens when I have this new mindset and I just go no matter what still? I mean, for example, I mean, there was one time I, I went to Brickle and I met Justin Waller, right? Andrew Tate's best friend. Freaking insane, bro. And, uh, yeah, that was the day that I did not want to go out to film. But it was a really good day to film because I made a great connection, as well as the fact that I, I mean, the, the, the video itself, that whole day was hilarious and golden, right? So that was another thing, you know? I, I mean, there's so many things I could, like, say and think of and scenarios and situations, but I, I can't get off the top of my head, to be honest with you right now. Um, my point is, is go out there and, and go try it. Because you never know who you'll run into. You never know what you'll run into, right? Opportunities comes and presents itself, man. And I've realized that if you don't have opportunities coming your way, it's not because you're unlucky. Maybe it's two things, okay? To be fair. One, maybe it's the mindset. The mindset of you being negative and very, very pessimistic. I can't fucking stand pessimistic people. Yeah, sure, you're stern and rational and just like saying what it is at times. But sometimes what it is isn't really what it is. It's also what it could be and what it will be if you have that mindset of optimism, right? Being optimistic. So that's one thing. But if it isn't that, it's probably because you're not applying yourself out there as much as you could or and should, honestly. Put yourself out there. You're only one person. You are only one being. I know a lot of fucking things out there. There's a lot of pronouns, they, them, and this and that. And I like to make jokes and shit like that on my videos. I know you've seen them. Like, I classify myself as they, them. I'm over here, here. I'm multiple people. Like, I fuck around. But in reality, like, you're only one person, right? You are only one self-individual. One. So if you think about it, that means that you can only be at one place at one time. And one day and one hour. And you know what I'm saying? Like... You, you really got to, like, schedule your shit here. You got to put your shit on a schedule. And you really want to throw away and trash the opportunities that you could have presented to you to be fucking bed rested and just laying down on the bed like this, right? And I'm not saying to, like, you can't have any days where you're just literally vibing. I'm not saying that. I'm saying pretty much that a lot of people are doing it a little bit too fucking much, okay? And you're getting a little bit too comfortable with yourselves, okay? You need to cut this shit out because you can really be applying yourself out there. I mean, I know figuratively speaking here, but also literally, like, look at this. Look at this. I have a whole, I mean, you can't see shit. That's crazy. I can't either. There's not many lights, but you have a whole world out there, man. A whole world, right? And you're just sitting your ass in your bedroom? Like, what the fuck is that? That, that? That's not what you were destined to do. You didn't finish the first race to become alive in this planet to, to, now, to now doing that shit. What kind of depressing, sad shit is that? And then a lot of people message me and they, they sit there and say, like, I'm depressed. I'm sad. You don't understand my life. Yeah, sure. Maybe I don't understand your life. But I understand bad times. I understand being depressed, being sad, being angry, being happy. I understand every human emotion because I'm literally fucking you in a different body. I'm a human myself. So I understand what you're going through to a degree, maybe not the situation and circumstance in particular, but I understand the emotion. The reason why a lot of you were like that is because you're realistically not in a place and in a life that you really want to be in at the end of the day. 
A lot of people look on social media, on TikTok, Reels, YouTube videos, and they see these people that put their life on a highlight reel, on a pedestal. Right? That's why I try to keep it real. Like my life's not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I, I go through shit all the time too, but you have these people just presenting themselves like they're perfect. They have the perfect fucking life. Nothing goes wrong. It couldn't be. Bad times don't exist on social media. It couldn't. And it's 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 really warped and fucked up a lot of your heads into thinking that because these perfect people don't have bad times. I'm having bad times. That means I'm a fuck up. I'm a mess. This is this is ridiculous. This this can't be. This is impossible. Oh my god. And um, yeah, I mean, I know I do social media a lot. I post a lot of fucking content, and and I'm grinding. But that's one thing I really do hate about it. I really do hate about social media that everyone puts themselves on a pedestal. I hate that shit. Because no one's perfect. No one has it perfectly. You know, everyone's with the perfect bodies and, and photoshopping their muscles to look fucking bigger than what it actually is. And acting like they're millionaires and probably have more than what they actually have. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, I mean, the, the list can go on. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't even need to discuss that. But yeah, man, like, just apply yourself more. Right? If you get invited, go to that event. Meet that new friend. Go to the gym that day you really don't want to. And you're not sick. It's not like you're debilitated. I'm not talking about those specific circumstances. Okay, I think that's like, we all know, okay? Uh, I don't think it takes a fucking rocket scientist. That, yeah, maybe you should lay off the gym if you're really injured or whatever. But if you're not, you're just being a lazy ass and it's a mental thing. Go. Do it. If you're doing nothing that day, and there's something going on around your city or, or whatever, like, go go out there. You never know who you're going to meet, who you're going to connect with, the connections you can possibly make. And in my circumstance doing this, I don't want to call it like some whole philosophy or like this whole like strategy almost, because that's what it is, honestly. I, I look at it like a strategy. I've made connections. I've met new people. I've built some relationships with a lot of people and like, that I'm glad are in my life now, and that benefit my life and add to my life, not subtract, that it just makes me think, damn, like, I really got to apply myself more. Every chance I got, I'm going to do it. Every fucking chance I got. Because you can't go wrong with that. And it can never hurt. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I don't know if this makes sense. I know I say that a lot in my videos, but I'm assuming it does. I mean, if I'm rationally like reviewing this and i'm posting it and you guys are watching it and you guys are not saying like yo you're making no fucking sense are you talking chinese like so maybe it makes sense right but yeah that's all i wanted to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's your boy kevin diaz from crew aesthetics make sure to build your perfect world now because we don't have this life forever that's all i wanted to say and i wanted to end it off there it's your boy kevin diaz from crew aesthetics Road to 1 million subscribers, and yeah, it's your boy, uh, it's your boy Kevin Diaz, and, and we're out. Peace.